Welcome to my lecture online. Equations with rational expressions are found everywhere in science, including in physics. And here we have an equation, 1 over f equals 1 over p plus 1 over q, which is actually a very famous equation. It's called the lens equation, where f is the focal length, p is the object distance, and q is the image distance. First, what they want us to do is solve that equation for q. The next we're going to solve the, the result of that equation for q, given that p is equal to 2 centimeters and f is equal to 1.2 centimeters. So let's do part a first. How do we solve that equation for q? Well, the first thing to do probably would be to isolate the term that contains the q by moving the 1 over p to the other side. So we can say that 1 over f minus 1 over p is equal to 1 over q. Now, the next thing, there's two approaches we can take. We can use our general approach by multiplying both sides of the equation by the lowest common denominator. In this case, the lowest common denominator is going to be the product of all the denominators. So let's try that. Let's go ahead and try to do it that way. We're going to take the lowest common denominator as being the product of f times p times q and multiply both sides of the equation by that lowest common denominator. So we multiply this by f p q and multiply this by f p q. So we're employing the same technique that we've used before. That works just fine. There's other techniques, but let's try this one. So if we're going to multiply this, let's see what we get. So in the first one, the f's cancel out and we're left with 1 times p times q. So p times q minus the p's cancel out and we're left with f times q is equal to, here the q's cancel out, and we're left with f times p. So I guess it didn't matter if we moved that 1 over p term to the other side or not. It seems to make no difference. Next, what we should do is factor out a q here. So here we have q times p minus f is equal to f times p. And then finally, we're going to divide both sides of the equation by p minus f, p minus f, and if we do that, these cancel out, and we're left with q is equal to f times p, the product of the focal length times the object distance, divided by the object distance minus the focal length of the lens. And there we go, that's what we're looking for. The same equation solved for q. The next thing we're going to do for part b is find q when we're given these values. So q is equal to the focal length, which is 1.2 centimeters, multiplied times p, which is the object distance, 2 centimeters, all divided by p, which is 2 centimeters, minus f, which is 1.2 centimeters. So q is equal to 1.2 times 2, which is 2.4 centimeters squared, divided by 0.8 centimeters. Now the centimeters cancel out to centimeters squared and 2.4 divided by 0.8 that would be q is equal to 3 centimeters. And that would be the final result. If the object is at 2 centimeters, the focal length is 1.2, the image distance will be at 3 centimeters. So first, again, use the same technique as before. Multiply both sides of the equation by the lowest common denominator then solve for the variable looking for and plug in the values. And that is how it's done.